Hi friends, welcome to another video. This is my Throw It Out Thursday video and I know it is late. It was supposed to be on last Thursday and I just got so busy with work. I wasn't feeling good, I had a lot of sinus infection stuff going on and I had like a billion things on my plate so I could not get around to it. But I did this time, I finally got it out and I'm really excited to share this video with you guys. Um, Rachel from Love Laugh Love Mommy and I have been doing this collab every Thursday for a while now of Throw It Out Thursday. We declutter our items, we declutter certain sections of our home and just to free up some space and to clear our minds and just feel amazing. You know, we don't need as much stuff as we have. So today we are working on, or she already did, but I'm working on my craft supplies. So um, her link to her video will be in my description box below. So head on over to that after you watch this video, if you haven't already watched it and like her video and subscribe because we all need more friends. But yes, so I don't want to show you too much of what I did because I am videotaping this part after I already did it. So let's get to working on this awful, awful mess. Some jars. I am like totally addicted to crafting and I haven't been able to get to my crafting for a long time, mostly because of just being busy, but also because of how overwhelming this is. Like I didn't want to go near it. This is like totally terrifying. I'm scared <laughs> and I'm I'm really sorry you have to see this but I am hoping that this I uh, will hopefully motivate you guys to tackle some horrendous absolutely horrendous difficult task that you may have to tackle whether it be cleaning or whether it being something that you're just afraid to do um, that you know you need to get done um, in life in general so oh my gosh this needs to get done obviously this is just this is too much I used to be a manager at a craft and hobby store and so I definitely went a little overkill on my paychecks and got a bunch of crafting supplies so I am going to be getting this all decluttered and I'm bringing you guys along with me thank you for being my partner in this and holding my hand through this very 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 overwhelming part of my life <laughs> I really appreciate you guys now let's get to work all right, so here's also this. This was actually behind me where I was standing. Um, I have quite a few of these and I am not gonna declutter these currently. Um, but the heck? Um, because um, I love to scrapbook. I like to make my own memory albums, little mini albums and stuff. That's what I used to do a lot at my old job too. Um, and these are perfect. Oh my gosh, I love these. I love all the different designs. And these are really expensive. These are like over $12 or at least $12 each usually. If you find them for on sale, that'd be great. Um, but I got, these are Martha Stewart ones. I have some that are not Martha Stewart brand, but the Martha Stewart ones are my favorite. She has the most beautiful designs and um, really high quality too. Like super, super nice. And I have like other ones. Oops, that's just, but yeah. I got some other ones too, but like I said, I managed um, a craft store and yeah, this is what happens when you manage a craft store and you love to craft. You <laughs> become a craft hoarder and that's exactly what I did. So I'm going to tackle this first. I feel like that'd be um, a nice way to start because this part is overwhelming like because of so much of it, but it looks like an easy task. So I think it's going to give me a good start on... Um, over our, um, or ta of tackling the overwhelm. So these are like a bunch of my ribbons and yeah. So I know there's some in here that I just won't use. I even found this extra one that I don't think I will use. So that will probably be parted with. Um, but yeah, so let's see here. Okay. I feel like everyone should have like a wide white ribbon. I think that I um, can use this for many, many things. So I'm not going to get rid of this because this is very versatile. So I'm going to keep that. Um, and some of these are like cute for like, I do a lot of like, um, ba uh, like baby stuff too, like baby shower type things. So this would be really cute for like a boy baby shower. So I might keep that. Maybe. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> my word, what is wrong with me? <sighs> All right, so I just actually grabbed this. These are those like small square, like, perfect square shaped little zipper bags I got from Walmart. Um, this would be great for like the loose ribbon that I do want to keep. So I'm going to do that. I think that's going to really help condense some space too. 
All right, guys, so this is all of the garbage right here that I'm just gonna throw away, and I'm going to donate these two to Goodwill. Um, but yeah, it's all the garbage, and I am so excited to show you guys what I did. Right, so here's what it looks like. All this. It looks so much better. I put all my spools that have plenty on it. Um, I stacked them nicely over here. I put um, like things like this on the side. Um, and then what I did is I just put all like the loose ones that were off the spools and um, and also like not as much to it. I just wrapped them up and put them all in these. Here's some Christmas one, another Christmas one, um, some lace, I think it's all Martha Stewart right here, and then Martha Stewart as well. And look what I found here, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, so total flashback of friendship bracelets. So I'm gonna keep these so my daughter and I can make friendship bracelets because that'll be so fun. I actually made a really pretty um, anklet out of like some fun girly colors after I found out that Jaden was a girl and was pregnant with her. And I wore it every day, I never took it off, and it came off after I, I like a couple days after I gave birth to her, so it was really cool. So her and I are gonna make some friendship bracelets. That will be really fun. But I can definitely move these backyard again stickers to maybe like the craft drawer and this as well. I think I'm going to work on this section really quick just because it is scaring me. Uh, All right, so we are making progress, kind of. <laughs> I um, took this basket out. There was only like a few things that were craft items. I forgot that I put like a random one in there that had just a bunch of random things in it that I just like didn't want to even look at. So I went through it, threw away most of the stuff that was in there. And then I have the other stuff in a bag to put where they belong. And then I actually ended up throwing that one away because it was so ruined, like something spilled in it. So I just threw it away. Unfortunately, they're so cute, so pretty. But um, yeah, I threw it away. And now I have this, my... I have some paper stacks. Ooh, there, Tiger. All right, I have some paper stacks, like paper pads, I guess, in here. And this one is like um, other paper pads, actually. Like, there's some more paper pads, and there's also single sheets and some scraps in here. I need to go through that because I definitely don't need to keep as many, as much paper as I have because it gets to the point where it's so overwhelming that you want either one you need you don't want to do any of it it just overwhelms you you don't even want to deal with it and then you lose your drive to have fun with your hobby and then or two it's just I don't know like you you just can't see everything even if you wanted to get to it you can't see the things that you really want to use so yeah so I'm gonna go through this so okay you see this it is filled almost to the top of I have single sheets and scraps. And here is a whole lot of a whole lot of um, random craft stuff and some other things that probably don't need to be in there anymore. So I'm gonna go through that over here. I think I have what is in here? I don't. That actually might be empty right now. Um, this is like children's things. I want to keep that because I'm regular, you know. Here I have like some ink pads and all this is full. This is all full of different colored ink pads. Um, and then back there is like a box of um, stamps. And then this has like little stamps in here and there's some more little stamps. And, and then here's this, I made this like little book of, the st of stamps that can stick to that kind of stuff. Um, so there's that and in here. I have my Cricut stuff and then a blanket of Jaden's baby blanket I need to fix. Right here is um, actually completely full and so heavy. It is full of jewelry making stuff. Um, and then I have my, so my, my fabric stuff. And then right here I have 
I love that thing. Oh my gosh, that's from Martha Stewart as well. <laughs> and it, it helps you um, score papers and um, also make homemade um, envelopes and cards. So I really love that thing. I can't wait to get back into crafting, you guys. I am so happy I'm doing this. And in here is a big old box of random crafting supplies. Um, and then here's this, oh my gosh, what an embarrassing picture of me. Uh, that was a picture of me getting ready for my, for my wedding <laughs> many, many, many years ago. Um, but yeah, that's an awful picture of me. My really good friend, um, Sarah, back in the day, she was doing my hair. She was like my best friend ever. I love that girl. I haven't seen her for so long. I miss you, Sarah. Um, and here we have some other random things. I have like these kind of boxes, like those photo boxes full of small like um, stuff for, what do you call it? Um, for decorating on like with scrapbooking pages and stuff. Gosh, that picture's awful. I don't look at it. <laughs> So yeah, I still need to go through all of this. So all of these are pretty much very full. So when I show you what happens next, it's not going to be very full, hopefully. All right. So this has most of my really, really small um, stamps in here. Um, honestly, I can get rid of like these ones right here because I can't find all the whole alphabet. And honestly, they're a pain in the butt to stamp with. <laughs> it really is so I'm gonna get rid of like the alphabet ones and stuff and then some I just don't think I'm gonna use like this I can donate that um I like the ones that say thanks on it because I like to make cards um that's cute I might just keep that one too Let's see this would be cute for like if you're making bullet points on like a planner type thing same with this one like so much ink is all over the place in here but like this i what would i do with this it doesn't make sense for me to have um so um yeah i don't need don't need these two um hello that's cute keep that one this one is like a disney princess don't need that either um here's those alphabets that's kind of cute that's kind of cute don't need that um yeah I don't know oh, let me guess this is like Tinkerbell <laughs> and Disney Princess um I'm keeping this for sure I love butterflies I have my I have a bunch of Christmas ones like I have this but this is like this goes into my bigger thing this is not small so and then I got this small one and these need to actually go in my like book thing I made of these so all right so this looks much better these are like the small ones I'm going to keep I'm going to eventually put these in that binder thing I made um so I'm probably going to put these right here too for now all right so I emptied out these two sides um I took was out of here I'm um, gonna put it probably back over here either down here or up here that purple box I'm gonna show you in a little bit I'm gonna put make that my paint holder because I have has a perfect spot to hold paints and also a spot to hold paint brushes and stuff um, I moved my Cricut stuff right here um, behind this so that's taking up less space now in here and this right here that um the thing for the kids to play with like well styrofoam stuff I'm actually gonna put that I have a drawer thing in my dining room um that is uh that has um like school stuff and some things like that in there so I think I'm gonna put this in there so it'll fit just fine so this is not gonna be my room anymore um my daughter's baby blanket I still need to repair um I really should keep this out where I can see. Gosh, stupid dust everywhere. <laughs> I should keep this where I could easily access it so I can fix it. Um, so for right now, I'm going to put it right here. Um, but it might look different when I'm done with this video. So let me show you. I have not done these two yet. But I have fixed this. There's a thread hanging from the sewing machine. All right. So right here, this is all empty because I threw away that basket. 
Um, and in here, I have all of my dies and my stamps that go with dies, like the Heartfelt Creations um, stamp sets that have like the matching dies. I have all the matching dies in here. And then I have like my spell binders and yeah, really cool. And then my Sizzix dies, my Tim Holtz dies are back here as well. And then my embossing folders. Oh my goodness, you guys, I love these, especially with like card making. I absolutely love making cards. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have my embossing folders back here. I have, oh, and then this right here, this wax paper is in here for a reason. Um, so some of the dies are are really, really um, thin, and but they're very intricate. Like, um, like especially the spill binders. Like, see right here, um, it's these little tiny holes. Sometimes you need to layer wax paper in here with it to make it so it cuts the paper thoroughly. Um, so you have like a perfect even cut. So I put, I keep wax paper in here for that, for these. Um, I am getting so excited, you guys. I am so gonna get back into doing my crafting. Oh my gosh, I used to make so much, well, I used to make money um, doing on eBay and selling on Etsy as well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna definitely do that because it's a great way to make money at home and enjoy what you're doing. So yeah, I'm gonna get back into that. All right, and then down here, I have, this is the best thing, I, the best way I could do it, I think. So in this, I have like Halloween craft stuff. Um, yeah, it's all Halloween style stuff. I got this box from the Dollar Tree, it's really cute. But my son, Sean, just bumped into it because Jaden like playfully pushed him and cracked it. So it's Dollar Tree though, who cares? Um, but yeah, I, I keep in the orange one just because it's like, obviously, you know, kind of like a Halloween color. And then I got these, these two purple things came in a set at the Dollar Tree. And so in this one I have like, just um, clips, you know, and then this one I have, ah, I'm making stuff to make barrettes, um, some tags that are pre-made that I actually bought, I think from Etsy or eBay, I can't remember. Um, and then there, there's these little mini picture frames and embellish them and de decorate them and put like kids pictures in it and give it to family members. I always wanted to do that. Now I can do it. And then here's all my like glitter glues and my glitter and my um, embossing glitter, like stuff like this. Um, I need to find my embossing gun though. I have it somewhere. I love it so much. I know it's somewhere in here. Maybe it's on this box. I don't know. We'll see. But yes, I have them all organized so they're not like all over the place. Like I have all my tulip, my whole tulip set is right here. Glitters just in this baggie. This bag is like the open glitter and it closed it, thank goodness. But yeah, I just think it looks much more neat and organized and less sloppy. I like that. That's good enough for me. And then now I need to get to these two bins. This right here, I'm, I might tackle that because I don't think I need all the paper pads. I'm going to get rid of the ones I just don't think I'll get much use out of. Um, but... But yeah, I'm going to definitely probably keep most of it. All right, guys. So this is what this basket looks like now. So much better. So in here, I have like all of my scrapbooking stickers. Um, and there, I'll wrap that up later. And then here I have like all of my paper and fabric flowers. I just, they were all, none of these were in a bag. They're just scattered all over. So it just made it very, very difficult to find anything. I try to keep like ones together. So yeah, and then I have these that I haven't opened yet. They're still in their packages, but yeah, I got all of these all nicely put in here and arranged in here. And then like some ribbon flower. Um, there's that. And then in here, it's just like all of my like embellishments. So for all my scrapbooking and all of my, um, um, blah, 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 blah. all my like mini, mini album stuff and card making, all my embellishments in here. I have some really cool ones I'm so excited about. Yes, please. I absolutely love it. Lots of butterfly stuff too. <laughs> I love butterflies. But yeah, so 
here this is looks so much neater and nicer i can't wait to put it back on the shelf and now to work on the scrap paper one. Ooh. all right you guys all right so this is how the paper pads are looking now um i didn't get rid of any well no i did get rid of a couple paper pads actually yeah i did get rid of a couple of them and there was only a few sheets single sheets left in some of them so i just took them out and i put them in this but yeah i think this looks so much better it looks neat and then you guys the thing i was dwelling about was not hard at all so there is some paper pads in here and then a lot of single sheets and some scraps but all the scraps i put in like a big 12 by 12 um ziploc bag so they're all like secure and not all over the place and then here is the these these cardstock sheets for my um, crafting I love to do and then my Cricut paper cutter I like to use sometimes um, I do have like an actual like really expensive paper cutter also but I don't know where it is right now I think I might have left it at my mom's house possibly when I was crafting over there but I don't know but yeah so there is all of this this looks so much better so much better and then we're looking at this yuck so now i gotta work on that yay all right you guys it is complete okay so i know there's still a lot but i use it and i love it and i'm not gonna get rid of any more um right here i'm just stacking my mason jars until i have a better spot for it um all right here is my big old cubby thing and here is um i didn't even like really get into this because i know i want these these are all like single sheets. I forgot about um, when I was doing this video. I forgot I had this to the side. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. So I like to keep these for making cards and like mini albums and stuff. Um, and then on top of it is the projects I'm working on now, which is I'm making, I am currently making, as you can see, it's not even nearly done, a jewelry box. I'm also making a mini album um, and the works of that. I've been in the works out for a long time. Obviously, I've been really getting into it, or I haven't been working on it for a long time. I'm so excited to get back into it. Here is like the super, super thick cardstock that's perfect for the mini albums. And you're making your own scrapbooks and stuff. There's a lot of dust. I need to dust those. Boy, oh boy. All right, so there's that. And this, I have some of my sewing stuff, like my, um, these, I forgot these things. These kinds of things are called. I think it starts with a P but yes so i got these scissors and i have safety pins and then i have a zipper so i'm keeping that up there away from sorry about the weird lighting why is this so yellow that's so weird oh they're tired i did not mean to do that okay <laughs> and then i have my sewing machine which i love it is my i bought it from my neighbor actually i traded it I gave them some, I think it was like a crock pot or something. I can't remember exactly, but I got this in return because I wanted a sewing machine really bad. And over here, I'm just keeping the current, like, like a project I have put together that I'm working on in here. Um, I even have like the dies to work with it. It's all in here. So... I have that one there and then in this oh it's like a big mess i need to wipe it down that's for sure but i have like my big crafting stuff like my wreaths i want to work on i it's the only spot i can think of to put these um that i got from ross and then right here is like my spray paints and my adhesives i'm putting in here um that i just don't want riley to get a hold of because they're pretty um i think they're pretty toxic and then i have these things right here I got these from Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago, so I don't know exactly where I'm going to do those, but I do want to keep these. But yeah, so I have like my big crafting pieces in here that I want to work on, my wreaths, my adhesives, my spray paints, and yeah, so that's up where Riley can't get a hold of. And then going down here, I have my um, ink pads, my stamps, my small, big, and those ones in here. And then this, I have all of my um, punches. And over here, I have my paper pads. And down here, I have um, my cardstock and some single sheets and some uh, 
some like loose scraps. I just put those in there just now before I did this. And then like this cutter and over here I have all of my dies and my like my die cutting stuff and then matching stamps for these ones are all in there and then I didn't show this to you guys but I have this poker thing it goes to help get the small little things out too and then I have this right here to create flowers paper flowers which is really fun um, and then over here I have my paint stuff at the top I have like my painters tape and my paint brushes and then here I have all my paints and then down here I have my daughter's blanket I want to repair I have a whole bunch of like fat quarters of fabric in here a bunch of different fabric pieces in here and scraps and then I have down here I have my ribbon and then over here I have my paper score my my Cricut stuff my fabric stuff or sewing and then I have these two empty little boxes like I have up here but down here these are empty so I thought that was a good spot for it they fit perfectly and right here I have my um, jewelry making kit stuff and I have my scimitar sword in this I've had that for many years it was a birthday gift a long time ago for me um yeah so I'm a nerd I know and then over here I have I added a couple things to this um I have and here I have like um pre-made like or store-bought cards sorry not pre-made store-bought cards that from like the target dollar spot so thank you and stuff like that keep those all in one spot and then I added my bag of thin markers in there. And then over here, oh, <laughs> like what is this? I forgot, I put this in here. My mom actually gave this to me so I can make her a, this is a glass ornament. So she wanted me to make her an ornament to get into work a while back ago and I didn't have a chance to do it. So there it is for another time. All right here I have like, stuff to make magnets and stuff. I love making magnets for people. So yeah, there it is, you guys. Oh, and the big totes that I showed you earlier are actually go going to be put into the garage in my corner. So that's why you're not seeing it in this video now because they are getting ready to be put in there. So yes, and I'm not showing the garage quite yet because the garage is a, well, it's not really that big of a mess, but I wanna get it. I might do a cleaning garage video for you guys, so I don't want to save that for later for you. But yeah, this is my crafting station. It looks so much better than it did. I am so happy. It looks more organized. It is more organized. I still have my treadmill right here. It's very dusty. Obviously, I haven't used it very long, and I do need to vacuum over here. But I think this looks great. Give me a thumbs up. Girl needs it. <laughs> and if you haven't yet, definitely subscribe to me because I need more friends. And yes, if you can share this, do it. That'd be more wonderful. I'd be so appreciative. Um, and then also definitely check out Rachel's channel, Live, Laugh, Love, Mommy. Um, her link will be in the description box below. And yeah, head on over there, watch her video, subscribe to her, and like her video. She is amazing. And we will see you guys again in our next videos. Thanks for watching. Bye now.